Hi guys, um, give me a second to post this video. I have Mike Caffarelli with me. He's a member of my soul family. And um, we're gonna talk a little bit. Do you wanna start while I post it? About like anything with energy? I feel like on a planetary level that this moon energy is crazy. I feel like I got like hit by a car or a bus last night. I feel a little bit crazy from it. And it's really intense. And I know like I just woke up and I'm doing this process really fast. It could be like really intense. I didn't know what you knew about like the blue avian shading, shielding energy, maybe. Yeah, it's crazy. If you if you watch on uh, on Guy and TV, um, there's a, a show called Cosmic Disclosure with um, David Wilcock and uh, uh, his his whistleblower for the uh, Secret Space Program. Yeah, uh, Corey, Corey. Corey Good. You guys have probably seen it, but anyways, they the blue avians um, have thousands of these spheres in our solar system and they're all supposedly absorbing the energy from the sun um, to try to slow down this process because we our planet we wouldn't be able to take it I feel like it's just so fast it's so hard like my body might kind of explode right now and not in a good way like yeah. these energies are just really intense like I'm really energy sensitive so I noticed some, and a lot of people, like the whole planet is basically in an energy storm from that moon that either happened last night or tonight. Yeah. It depends where you live. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's basically what it is, is the, it's, the energy is coming so much faster than I think anyone, con you know, expected. Yeah. I mean, they say people are going to be seeing weird things like ghosts, spirits, reality is going to start morphing. It's going to be crazy. Um, until the sun has its its major hiccup or, or energy burst. And then what is that like? Would you expect like solar flares? Because that's a big topic too. People are like, oh, maybe Nibiru will come in November. Maybe we'll have solar flares. We don't really know, but I have seen that the 3D is burning, and I've seen the end is in fire. And more like I would expect like we're supposed to have meteor showers. Um, next September, like 23rd, when Nibiru comes in our solar system, mm -hmm. and then um, these are going to be like more like they say we're going to have meteor showers. I see it more like fire coming from the sky and destroying the third dimension. Right. And in the law of one, it says Earth, wind, and fire are destroying 3D, and that's kind of what's happening. Um, I'm about to get into the news and stuff, but we clearly are seeing like news to support that. Yeah, it's it's getting crazy. Um, I agree. Totally. I want to hear your thoughts on these kind of like headlines because um, it's getting crazier and crazier every day. It's like it's not like a new thing. There's going to be news every day. Like it's not like, oh my God, maybe we're going to have an earthquake um, tomorrow. We're going to have one probably every day. So we have a high false flag alert for the month of January because Trump becomes president January 20th. The elites seem to not like Trump. We don't know if this is an illusion, but they seem to not like him. We keep hearing that either we'll have an assassination attempt, a terrorist attack, riots, maybe a celebrity death, and anything to really martial law America. If we ever get martial law, it's kind of like it would happen right now this month, right? It would seem so, in my opinion. Yeah. They don't have much time. I mean, listen, they, every, the people that think that Trump is this illusion that he's you know, against the establishment, I, I don't see it that way. I, I definitely think that he is sincere. Um, now, what's going on behind the scenes? Who knows? There's People are going to try their best to manipulate what's happening around yeah. him. But he doesn't seem like the type of person that's easily bullied. So Yeah, when, we, when the election see. happened, too, I, I felt like a relief that Hillary Clinton wasn't elected because it really would have destroyed it. It would have destroyed our entire world within a few days. I could see that future probability. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's just at least you have a hope with Trump. Right. Trump is against the establishment. They've, they've messed. He's, he's got a, um, it seems like he has a vendetta against them, which is good. Yeah. Any way you want to look at it, he's a good thing. It's, it might be painful at first. Yeah. But, um, he, he need, you know, we need to get rid of these criminals. I know. With anything, like, if I clean out my closet, I have to pull everything out and make a mess before I make it better. So things are definitely going to get a lot worse any way we look at it. Let's see. We had 103 earthquakes yesterday. We had 103 earthquakes this week because it's a new week. Um, we've had 1,724 earthquakes this month. It's picking up intensity. We didn't see any of these earthquakes till about five days ago when this moon started to come close to Earth and affect the gravitational pull. And now we're seeing major earthquakes, volcanoes, and craziness. And um, we're, I'm going to get to this. We just have one in the U.S. again. And we're waiting for that fall line in California to hit any day. And basically, it will kill millions of people and break half the state, most of the state all the way up to Canada right off. So we're waiting for that. It's locked, loaded, and ready to go as I went over my video yesterday. 
Um, at least, I like these headlines, at least 160 people are dead from a church collapsing on them in Nigeria. The Bible's church building cave in, they expect to find more victims. As in the entire building just collapsed. Now tell me that's not an act of God. Just yeah. saying, because all these churches seem to be getting destroyed, and that's what Jesus was really doing. So this is my favorite, because I want you to talk about reptiles. Um, Planned Parenthood keeps being in the news. The law says it should have the same standards as a medical facility. Planned Parenthood is fighting this in lawsuits because they don't want the same standards. And then I'll skip ahead because I want you to go into reptiles. Basically, there's an abortion lawsuit over a new rule in Texas on how to dispose of the fetuses. And of course, reptiles eat these fetuses. They purchase them and eat them. So it's kind of like these are medical parts. These are medical biohazard parts. Like maybe they should be disposed of in the same way. Is that really asking for a lot? What are your thoughts on that? Because I'm always going into reptile shapeshifters and all the missing kids and what's really going on behind the scenes. Well, if you look at David Pauli's book, uh, I think it's Paul, I said David Paulicize or something, it's Missing 411. He goes into that. There, I think he has three or four books on it. Missing Kids in the Wilderness, uh, Missing Kids in Cities, on uh, Urban Areas. All of them are, you know, attractive. Oh. <laughs> have a, a you know some kind of type of talent attractive yeah or, keyword or, attractive yeah or, or talented or smart in some way yeah. above average very very disturbing mysteries all these yeah. it's pretty interesting we, we've seen it on camera where this guy this this guy this entity just grabbed the kid on camera in the store and you could t clearly see it wasn't human <laughs> like you're oh, seeing wow. some kind of crazy you're seeing this like you're actually seeing it and most of these are attractive girls that are missing most of them you know so there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, real quick, I just want to get into these headlines, and we're going to wrap this up really fast. Um, it's that kind of day. <laughs> Trump says um, the F-35 program is out of control. Its fighter jet is about $12 billion next year. Um, we're about to have some crazy government contract changes if Trump becomes elected, right? Mm -hmm. He wants to take that money away, and I really agree with that because it's really ridiculous if you look at these war programs. And uh, what are your thoughts on that? I think it looks like he's trying to get rid of some of the corrupt spending and mm -hmm. backroom contracts that are going payroll. on. <laughs> payroll. Yeah, basically the yeah, it's a black budget payroll for the uh, the defense contracts that they're do that they were doing. So we'll see we'll what see, happens. Right? That remains to be seen. Um, in Egypt, we had a blast in Egypt's main uh, Coptic. I can't say good Coptic Christian cathedral killed five people. Um, Trump responded to hacking allegations on Wednesday. Time magazine uh, quoted Trump Wednesday saying, I don't, quote, I don't believe they interfered. It could be Russia. It could be China. It could be some guy at home in New Jersey, end quote. They're really attacking Trump um, about these hacking uh, allegations. And you know Jill Stein's making a huge deal about that. She actually managed to raise, I don't know how many millions of dollars, but a substantial amount. I believe it was 17 or 7 million dollars and that's amazing for her so she's really going hard on oh my god this vote was rigged and we want to recount I mean, obviously it's obsolete right well it's absolutely obsolete jill stein's being paid for by the clinton foundation number mm -hmm. one number two it's surprising they're even going into this because they're finding more fraud from her side of things than from the, the trump side i mean one of the girl this one lady that she's like the She's the expert on vote rigging. She's a Democrat, a very strong, staunch Democrat. Um, she's found already over three million votes, I think. Maybe, don't quote me on that, but in, it's in yeah. the millions that, that Hillary yeah. has. It's but either Hillary from dead people. Yeah. yeah, there are votes from dead yeah. people. Some people are voting twice. People that are uh, in prison are voting somehow. All of it from, uh, it's it's all, I mean, they've been doing it for decades, yeah. so it's, this is no surprise. It's not a big surprise. Both, both sides have been doing it. What are your thoughts, too, on Israel is moving the American embassy to Jerusalem? This is one of Trump's priorities. The embassy is currently in Tel Aviv, and as you know, Jerusalem is where, you know, biblical things are said to take place. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it kind of seems like this is end times, right? Could you be. might think, right? Could be. Some people might see it as a beginning, though, right? I think so. I think it's what you make of it. Yeah. Um, any tips on, um, I was told yesterday that maybe like I woke up last because um, I was at a certain place evolutionary where I didn't need a lot of time to do this process. And now I feel like everyone around me has been awake for like 10 years. We've been doing these Ascension videos and I feel like I'm getting thrown into this and that I have to do this process so much faster. Like in a year you've seen the changes and the evolutionary steps I've made in my own life and it's really been like a lot. 
And I feel like a lot of people have had like 10 years to do this process, you know, since 2012 or whatever. And I'm just kind of new to this and like getting hit a lot harder. There's a lot of people that are just waking up now. What do you think about um, maybe like there's been the first wave that's been awake and we're like more like the second or third wave almost. What are your thoughts on that? Because you've been awake like your whole life, I would say. Well, I mean, it's... <laughs> I think the faster it happens, the more shocking it is, you know? Yeah. That's going to be, for anybody, it's going to a lot to take whenever you realize what's really going on around you. You know, it's not quite what, it's what, not what you believed see. your whole life, so, you know, that's a shock in itself. Other than that, I mean, you know, reality is much stranger than fiction in a lot of ways. That's that's what I've found out, and I think that's what a lot of people are starting to find. Yeah, out. we're starting to find out we're multidimensional. This is what I'm having happen in my life, where I'm multidimensional, and I'm doing a, I'm not doing a lot here, believe it or not. I'm trying to do like work, and I'm trying to really like change the planet from the inside out. But I'm doing most of my work in the dream world and in the astral world. Like this is just a small part of my existence, and there's so many multiverses with all of us in it, and it's just such a it's such a big place. This universe, I'm finding out. Mm. What are your thoughts, real quick, on um, extraterrestrial life helping us? Because a lot of people are like, oh my god, are there really aliens? Oh my god. And I tell people, um, my boyfriend's from space, and there's a lot of people here to help people, as in look like people, and then entities that don't look like people. As in um, benevolent and um, mel malevolent, I can't say it. Malevolent? <laughs> yeah, malevolent. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think there's any denying that there's something going on. I mean, there's lots of books written by some very, you know, professional people um, if you look at Richard Dolan I mean that guy's the authority and I mean it just his books are just from government documents alone you know there's definitely something going on there's definitely good mm -hmm. entities there's definitely evil entities uh, would you say they're running the world <laughs> I, would, I would say there's a pretty good chance it's a pretty good chance they're running the world to and that we're like us. the bottom of the totem we're basically slave class this is a school or this is meant to be a school but it's more like prison planet so we're going to leave you um, on those thoughts we have a lot to do today we're really busy you can go ahead and um, check out my site for healing sessions and um, I'm going to have Mike back on here shortly because I want to pick his brain on this it's just really hard for us to find a good time to coordinate so um, love and light and uh, we'll have you back later sounds good